From To Like a Lapse that dropped in 2002 on the Eminem show, Eminem dropped a list of rappers. It goes Reggie, Jay-Z, Tupac, and Biggie, Andre from Outkast, Jada, Corrupt, Nas, and then me. But the next boss sets the tone for this video. But in this industry, I'm the cause of a lot of envy. Hello again, and welcome back to another one. And today we have a couple of topics to cover. As from a recent interview, Corrupt spoke about Eminem, and we'll be exploring this and surprising reactions so far people obsessed with useless details and more. We also have 50 Cent who recently reacted to a huge milestone for the classic in the club and it's fair to say 50 is still not over the 2004 Grammys when he missed out on the best new artist award. So this was reported recently, 50 Cent's in the club has now surpassed 1.5 billion views on YouTube. It's the most watched 2000s hip hop video and here's the kicker. Inoscope last updated the song in 2004 when it was certified gold, suffice to say that just like the album Get Rich or Die Trine that's on the verge of a diamond certification, perhaps they are aiming to swoop two in one go for Get Rich or Die Trine and in the club, it's gotta be eligible for diamond right now. And on topic, 50 Cent took to social media to react to this milestone, still no best new artist shrugs emoji. I don't know why people always want to cheat me, man. They are counting from 2009. That song came out in 2003. Raise eyebrows emoji. Damn it, man. That's a soft flex from 50. Sure he knows there was no YouTube when the song dropped. That's longevity right there. In the 2004 Grammys, 50 was nominated for Best New Artist against Evanescence, Fountains of Wayne, Heather Headley, and Sean Paul. Evanescence won the category, and nearly two decades later, this is what it looks like for 50 Cent vs Evanescence. 15.5 million certified album units sold in the United States for 50 Cent, and 10 million certified album units sold for Evanescence. Who do you guys think should have won the Best New Artist category? For me, I'd go with 50 Cent or Sean Paul, a foreign artist who reached these heights in the United States. Moving on for the month of June, Eminem continued his YouTube streak and was the most viewed rap slash hip hop artist on the platform with 320.7 million views. Other top rap slash hip hop artists, depending on who you ask, include Doja Cat with 264.4 million, Drake who earned 255.7 million, the in quotes king of YouTube according to that Vlad interview we covered a few weeks ago, who earned 204.5 million, and surprisingly in this period, Kendrick Lamar did not crack the top 100. And moving on, in a recent interview, Corrupt spoke about the Super Bowl and their performance, and he had this to say about Eminem specifically. I was going through something one time, and M lent me a helping hand, you know what I'm saying, and helped me get out of a bad situation I was in before. He didn't have to do that, cause, you know what I mean, and he did that for me, you know what I'm saying. So you know, it's still some solid people, still here, you know that's the type of person that Nip was, you know what I'm saying, type of person Pop was, type of person Biggie was. And when the interviewer added, Eminem's the reason I fell in love with hip hop, Corrupt added, yeah buddy, you know the odds are stacked against him, everybody that was on that stage for the Super Bowl are all people who the odds were stacked against them, you know what I'm saying? The odds were stacked against each individual that was on that stage and music, music set him free. He didn't elaborate on what Eminem actually did for him and for some in quotes reason, many in reaction to this took one point from the interview to spread negativity. When the interviewer stated that Eminem was the reason they fell in love with hip hop. One is a state in quotes, Eminem is the reason I fell in love with hip hop. Shirley Jew also explains a lot, rose eyes emoji. More on this, in quotes, Eminem is the reason I fell in love with hip hop figures. It's quite interesting to see how this guy in quotes rap fans pressed. Another user expands, if Eminem made you fall in love with hip hop, you are white or I got questions. This girl white? Something tells me, if someone said Jay-Z, Park or 50 Cent are the reason they fell in love with hip hop, none of these people who got their knickers in a twist will have a thing to complain about. Another one, I rock with Eminem heavy, but hearing old girls say Eminem is what made her fall in love with hip hop further makes me uncomfortable with Vlad TV as a platform. Perhaps these people would prefer if she lied about her personal experience. It is what it is. And what's wrong with the biggest artist in hip-hop history getting people to fall in love with the genre? And some users had the time to respond. Depends on how old she is, you know Eminem been out for a while now. Chances are, if you were born in the late 80s well into the 2000s, then in your lifetime Eminem's been the biggest thing out there in the world in music. So what's the issue? Corrupt dropped some gems, but it's the interviewer's comments that's the focus for some. And on a positive note, some believe. M seems like a solid dude and his contributions to the hip hop game is damn near unmatched. 
and we got the classic too. I mean had a hit in years and these mods are on here making him be the greatest ever over some ish he made 20 years ago laughing and facepalm emojis. But what do you guys think? Would people have an issue if someone said Jay Parker 50 made them fall in love with hip hop? I mean data shows M's the most mentioned top 5 rapper of all time by rappers. So what's so strange about that? Share your thoughts below. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe if you enjoy content like this and see you on the next one.